Painted Dixon Touring Car Masters qualifying for round three here at Winton this weekend. Stevie Johnson on pole position with number 16 in the series, but how close was it? Yeah, I'm pretty surprised when you say I've got 16 poles. It uh, doesn't seem like it's... I've been around that long, to be honest, but um, that's really cool. Um, we've had a really good run this year and, and last year. You know, we've, we sort of really got it together and it felt good. It felt really good. It, you know, I guess the competitors would probably not like to hear that it's not ideal. We had a bit of understeer, which we uh, definitely slowed us up in, in, in lap pace. So a couple of little tweaks and I went out at the end there to maybe have another go if someone was going to go quicker, but we didn't need to, to use up the tyres. So I'd, I would rather save the tyre than uh, then have another crack. So um, the car's really good. Uh, the boys have done a, a great job on the car and just setting it up. It's nice. There's still a few little things I think we can get right, but all in all, it's you know you can't be upset with pole, can you? Just two little uh, things that might come into play tomorrow, i.e. the weather. And can you go another three and keep an unbeaten record? Well, we're trying. We're definitely trying hard. I know, you know every time we do win, obviously we get penalised. 100 revs so we're down to it feels like I'm down to 4,000 it feels like I'm driving a diesel at the moment but yeah we're we're a good 500 revs short at the moment to what we're you know and what a lot of the other big block cars around us have got they've got 7,500 and we're down around the 7,000 mark so it's it's tough I feel like I'm changing more gears it's hitting the rev limiter in more spots but the car's feeling good it's not going to show up as much around here I think you'll see it show up that rev deficit show up a lot at Queensland Raceway and uh, places like there in Bathurst, maybe even Sydney Motorsport Park. But the car's good. As you said, the weather's coming in most probably tomorrow. Quite an important qualifying session for us to be in that front area because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And um, sometimes it's not great being a pioneer in the wet, but we'll wait and see. Fastest in practice one was Ryan Hansford. Came out this afternoon to try and emulate that effort in qualifying, but just fell short. Yeah, mate, we, uh, look, the plan was to go and do three laps. We had really good pace this morning, so we're happy with that, getting the car on track. Did the three laps. I actually pulled my uh, earpiece out so I couldn't hear anyone back in the pit, so I actually didn't know where I was, what was going on. So did the, we did the plan, did three, came in, and uh, realised where we were, so we went back out to have another crack at it. But the little, little, just enough rain there, it started falling, just to make it a little bit slippery in the rear. So being cold conditions, I don't think my, t I don't think my tyres were up to temper. I think if we had that other lap, we probably would have got pole, but very happy sitting in second, so it's a good step forward for the team. So there's more in the car? Yeah, there's a little bit more in it, I reckon. I think we could have gone faster in that session. Just a couple of tenths. I don't know if we would have gone faster than what we did this morning, so I don't know whether the track conditions have just had worsened a bit since this morning, but um, yeah, well, the car likes old rubber, I'm not sure. Were you on a bonus if you got this pole position for your boss? Yeah, considering it was his birthday, yeah, he was going to throw a few dollars uh, my way, old Brett Peters, 55 today. He, he's he didn't hate that. He's going to hate it so much. Making a return to the Painter Dixon Touring Car Masters this weekend is Adam Garwood. And Adam, for the first time ever, the 85 has outqualified the 95. Yeah, um, bit of a shock. I've never been the best qualifier. So, um, you know, we managed to pull something out in that last lap. And as the car came on, it got better. So, I'm just lucky it was the last lap and didn't run out of time. The tightness of the field is astounding this weekend. Six tenths of a, seven of a second cover the top ten players here this weekend. Another half second back to P11. So not only will the three races be interesting, but also the Dometic Trophy reverse grid race. How do you think you're going to go there? Yeah, not too sure. We've got a better set of rotors. I was cracked a set, unfortunately. Um, so we use that as a bit of a test session and get them sorted. So the chances there, we'll go for it. But if we've got to back out of it, we will. So... The main focus is the next three races. Um, I'm up the front there with well, Bow and Johnson and Ryle. Oh, not Ryle, Ryan, sorry. Um, so we'll focus on them and give that the best shot.